Now I would like to take one more activity. So I have here taken I have two taken beakers. two beakers. In the first beaker there is water, and in the second one I have dropped some detol in that. So what happens is it becomes a detol solution, and detol particles they will be hanging in the water, and that is called a colloidal solution. Now observe what you can see. Do you observe any path in the first beaker in which I have taken water? And did you see the second one, a detol solution? Did you see the path in that? Yes, you can see the path in the second one. It's because there is particles, detol particles hanging in it. Therefore, it's being deviated from its path. So the scattering effect in case of colloidal solution is generally called as Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is a scattering effect. In general, we use colloidal solution. We can see the path in this because the size of the particles are a bit more. That's why we can see that scattering effect. So here we are ended with our experiments. Thank you. So do you know who was the first one who introduced this? Who was the one who spoke about this for the first time? He was the great physicist, Sir Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman. By 1927, he had noticed that the scattered light was polarized. He described the phenomenon which was later modified as Tyndall effect. To mark the discovery of C.V. Raman, we celebrate 28th Feb as National Science Day. Thank you.